Hello and welcome to another beer review and um, this one we're going to Kendall we're going to a place called the Watermill Inn just outside Kendall in Cumbria now the Watermill Inn is like a like a pub with a microbrewery um, at the back and I'm not sure whether or not they just serve their own beer because um, I've seen pictures of it anyway um, we got a bottle of their collie wobbles. There you go, boys and girls. Bish bash bosh. Super smashing great. A couple of uh, couple of dogs there having a beer, like you do. There's the back side. There's some more stuff which I shall read you. It's coming at 3.7% ABV. Um, the watermill in is an award-winning beer lover's paradise, a real pub with real ale, good food and guest accommodation. Now with its own range of handcrafted ales, brewed on the premises for you to take home and enjoy. The Watermill Inn is actually near Windermere, a place called Ings. Ings near Windermere. Of course, something's coming out now. Um, Lake District in Cumbria. Uh, life life is too short not to get collie wobbled. Um, collie wobbles, the original brew from our grown stable of fine ales, a perfect session drink while away the hours with a few good friends. Best served at 10 to 14 degrees. There you go. So yeah, give it a whirl. Crack her open. The sun's coming out. It's thrown this video a bit off because I've got one... Half my face is in the light, one half of my face is in the black. I'm hoping that some will go behind that cloud in a minute, but we'll carry on regardless. So, plain gold crown, put over there, cat's falling asleep. Mm, not much there, it's a little bit... Definitely getting that malt there, you're definitely getting a hint of lime there. Not much from the neck, I must admit. So, let's pour out like we do. And she has come out gold, as it says on the label. Don't know if she's bottle conditioned. I'm going to give her a swell, see that she, if she is. And she's come out very fizzy, fluffy, fluffy, fluffy white head, as you can see. Top her up, lots of minuscule bud bubbles now. It's like having a real party of bubbles. It's not telling me exactly what hops are in this, um, as you can see. As you can see there, boys and girls, loads of bubbles. Clear gold looking. It looks like a refreshing beer. It certainly does. See what we get from the still that hint of lime and a little hint of lemon there. Not much, but I'm gonna go in. So cheers. Very light. <clears throat> Excuse me. Went down the wrong way. That <laughs> it's very light. Um, you do get a little hint of lime. A little bit of lemon. It doesn't feel that particularly thin, even though it's only three point seven percent. But it's. Um, Definitely a session all right. Um, I think I quite enjoyed this actually, having a few of these out in the sun, like you do. Well, I am. I'm having them in the sun with my bald head. <laughs> um, yeah, it's got a bit of lime. The bitterness isn't. It's quite subtle. 
It's weird because the bitterness is kind of like converging into a bit of a biscuity note on the back end. Um, but all in all, it's very, very refreshing, boys and girls. Very refreshing indeed. One more for the road, I think. Hit the crispness there with the carbonation in the mouth. It's all sounding very nice. It's, it is a nice, sessionable beer. Um, it won't get you collie wobbled, um, but um, it's it's kind of like one of them ones add with a salad, you know that kind of thing. Um, yeah, not bad at all. So boys and girls, it's a short one, but it's a good one. Watermill Inn Brewing Company collie wobbles. <coughs> Highly recommend that one. As ever. You all stars, every one of you. See you boys and girls on the next one. Cheers.